But all right, well, I haven't commentated in a while, so we're just going to go right to it. Rams get the ball. No, uh, we're going to do not much of an introduction. 15 from downtown. Not going to connect. Oh, and a little, little stumble in there by the Vikings. Number 14 carrying it out. Pass to zero. Back to four. He's looking deep. Just off the mark. They rebound it. Get it back. Number three gets the two. It's 2 nothing Vikings. Vikings playing some heavy defense, some double teaming going on. But then they leave the man wide open. Number zero drains it. Oh my goodness. Vikings have to answer. Pass the number one. Trying to set up a little screen. Back to zero. Back to one. Back to an open three. Misses it for the rebound. They miss it again. They get another rebound. It's blocked. Vikings get the rebound once more, trying to drive in. Number 14 can't get it. Gets again. Gets it this time. That was a lot of play inside the paint for the Vikings, and it's a turnover. Intercepted by number three. Number zero trying to corral it. Cannot. Dead ball call, and the Vikings get possession. See if they can add to this 4-3 lead they got going on. Already this game is going really well for the Vikings. Oh, that's an air ball, but maybe it was a pass to 14. Who knows what these players are thinking inside their minds. Number three, looking to drive, and he fights off the hit. And gets it for the two. Vikings playing some heavy defense, big pressure. Oh, almost picked off again. Number 15 for the Rams, going up. And oh, almost in and out, but is able to bury it down. Close game in the first quarter. Pass it back, number one. He's driving, double teams. And it's the Rams ball. Good defense by the Rams. Vikings still applying heavy pressure. Ooh, that was a pretty risky pass. It's tipped, still recovered by the Rams. Number 11 drops back. Misses it, rebound by the Vikings. Dumps it off to number three. He is driving down the lane, and he gets it. Easy layup for the Vikings. Oh, and another turnover by the Rams. But the Vikings could do nothing with it. Drive is unsuccessful. Vikings still playing that double team defense, trying to put pressure on the Rams. And we have a stoppage of play. Timeout. It is a timeout. My cameraman has informed me that it is a timeout. <laughs> it's going great. It's going pretty good so far. It's going awesome. It's actually going great. You know, I haven't commentated in what? A couple months? I don't know. It's been way longer than a couple months. When was the last time I commentated? It's like back. Damon, do you remember when I commentated last? Uh, I don't know, it's six, like five, months. five, six months ago. Wow, that's... Oh my god, look at he's over there. Yeah, yeah, it's Jadis. Should Jadis talk? I have another What's up, buddy? What's up, bro? What's up? How you been? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Does Jadis yeah, want another microphone? Down. How you been, John? Oh, I've been good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, heard, I heard you guys moved locations again. You're huh? in engineering yeah, now? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we're in engineering, did. yeah. Did you see me? Did you see how... Oh, you, you played great. You were literally <laughs> laying it out. <laughs> You drain. I literally come in last two minutes. You're over here draining threes. Were you the whole thing? No, just for like the last like five minutes. I saw you out there. You did good. What do you mean? You ain't even feel the beat. Rams coming in. Number eleven dumps it back to the three. Put up the whole thing. Huh? You never put up the whole thing. Yeah. I'm commentating over it, so. Yeah, you commented it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got the shirt mic. We got. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have to hold a mic. We're high tech over here. You got a. Yeah? You look a man with that beard now, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, he almost got that. And big turnover. Yo, so you send, you send me the video? Oh, do you still have the Instagram up? Uh, yeah, I still have the Instagram there. Yeah. Oops, uh, well, the, this video will probably be posted on what? Uh, Wait, what, what do we. What, what, Damon, where will this be posted on? Uh, Viking 360, right? Yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, on YouTube, so. 
Yeah, you also have to look for it on the Viking 360 I'll YouTube. Tell, when I see you at lunch, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, he'll tell you. <laughs> I'm just gonna give my dad is gonna drop off the cards to Mark Corey. It's my boss. And cards? Yeah, and he's my boss is a really good editor, so he's just gonna. Edit oh, he's he's just, just gonna, gonna be like. <laughs> he's like, I got this. Two minutes later, oh, it's done. <laughs> yeah. He edits so fast. Does he? Shout out to you, Mark. <laughs> Mark, big Mark. Big we love we love big Mark. We love Mark. He's he's a, he's a holly jolly man. <laughs> But yeah, so you said he edits really fast. I've seen him in it. He's a boss. He's a beast. But he's just, he's, yeah. just, he's built different. He's a beast from the east, as I say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because he is from, he's from Littleton, so that's east. Yeah. <laughs> still picking up the mic, right? We're still doing good? Yeah, it sounds amazing. All right, sounds awesome. Can't wait to continue this. We're only half, but we're only probably, what, close to halfway through the first? 8-5, Vikings, Vikings trying to hold on to the lead. Rams start with the ball, dumps it back to 11. 11 to zero. Zero getting double teamed, trying to find an opening, can't find anything. Back to 15, back inside to 11. He's triple teamed, not gonna get it. Rebound by the Vikings. They're storming down, trying to find some opening. Oh, what a move. Oh, ho, ho, ho. such insane. Zero with a nice play. Rams trying to get some momentum back down by five. He's just gonna float it up. That's that's not gonna go anywhere. But they get the rebound. He's double teamed. Back to 15. He's got a wide open three. Takes it, misses. Zero with the rebound underneath. Gets the two. Cuts this back to a three-point lead. Back to one. One with the fake out. Good fake out. Dead ball called. Surprised no traveling was called there. It's almost a travel, but the whistle blew dead before that happened. Vikings trying to find something. Got to get it out. Back to three, back to four. Back to one. Back to zero. Going up for two. Not going to get it. And the rebound by the Rams. 15 had it, then dumped it off to one. One, double team. Back to 11. Back to zero. Zero looking for the corner three. Misses that one. Unable to get it. Vikings turn it over in their own territory. 11 looking to drive. He's just going inside, trying to float it up. Didn't get it. Zero looking somewhere. Back to one. Back to 15. Back to zero. Back to one. 211. They're passing the ball around, loading up. Not gonna go. Vikings storming up. Zero coming in. Oh, and it's tipped and picked off. Number one passes it up to 11. That is an easy layup. Bang bang play from the Rams. Vikings only up by one now. Vikings trying to extend this lead more. Keep it out of range of the Rams. A little dump off, not gonna get it. Inside the paint, gotta go somewhere. Back to three. Oh, it's tipped! But rebound! And a miscommunication. Gonna launch a long ball, it's intercepted! Picked off by zero, double teams. Vikings retain possession. 24 checks in for 14. Back to three, then to four. He's just gonna take the long three. Not gonna get it. Rebound by the Rams. The Rams can take the lead here with one score. Let's see what they try to do, and miscommunication. A turnover for the Rams. Vikings storming up. Not gonna get it. Rebound though by number one. Inside, number 24, he's a big man, but they get the ball from him. Triple teams, absolutely nothing going on, and 24 brings it down. Extends the lead to three. Still only a one-score game. Ball on the ground. Oh, 21 had it and then lost it. Big mistake. A costly turnover. 
Vikings try to set up a screen, doesn't go anywhere. Number 11, another easy layup. Back to a two point lead. Rams just staying in this one, trying to get themselves the lead. Rams have not had a lead all game. Vikings from downtown, not gonna get it. Free throws coming. Thanks, the first one. Number 32 checks in for number 15. Another free throw coming. And he misses that one. The lead is still only two. Vikings still playing that double team defense, trying to catch him off guard. Oh, live ball. Number zero, just gonna load it up. Not gonna get it. Rebound by the Vikings. Long ball, he gets it to connect. Oh, the layup is no good, just short. Here goes number one, trying to do some nice dribbling action. Back to the double team. Maybe even triple team. 11 for the three, for the lead. Not gonna get it. Rams still trying to get their first lead of the game. It was an in and out for the Rams at number 11. You know, if we're looking at it, number zero, I feel like he's one of those, he's like uh, their shooter on their team. Kind of like a Steph Curry on the, on the Warriors. If I had to guess correctly. Oh, turnover by the Vikings. They dump it off to number 11. They're really trying to get him moving in this game. Gotta be one of those star players. Back underneath, air balls it over. Out of bounds and off the Rams. Vikings keep possession. Back to three, four or three. Vikings it. Not even. That's just too easy for him. They left him wide open. What are you supposed to do? Number one, knives through three defenders. Back to 11. 11 driving. Gets it. 15 seconds left in the first. It's a three-point game. Can the Vikings extend the lead? Back to two scores. Gonna drain a three. Oh! Money. Absolute money from downtown. Rams trying to get something, but not gonna connect. Well, end of one, Vikings up 19 to 13. A big 6.2 score advantage for the Vikings. Let's see if they can continue that in the second quarter. I mean, there's, I mean it's just like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, 20. Rams get possession off the hands of number zero. Another costly turnover by the Rams. Vikings just trying to pour it on right now. Seeing if they can extend this lead to three scores. Back to three. Three driving. Oh, they tried getting it. But 24 rebounds. It helps them out with the assist. It's almost a nasty play by number three. Rams trying to get momentum that they so badly need. And that's not going to do it right there. Vikings with the rebound. Oh, back to three. Downtown from three. Absolutely dominating. There's a three from number three. Off the hands of the Vikings. Good defense. Rams retain possession. It is a nine point game. Number three is absolutely on fire right now. Number 11, oh, he lost the ball. He's looking for a foul, not gonna get it. Number one going up, good defense, but number three with the rebound. And he gets two more to add to his stats in the first half. Back to 11. Trying to find something and it's tipped. And another turnover from the Rams. And the Vikings do something. 
Back to three. Oh, he's looking for another. Oh, so close. Almost another three. Number zero looking for a three. He's trying to get in this game. You know, for saying that he's one of those star players, he's been pretty quiet lately. Oh, number three, underneath. Oh, in and out. Ah, he was robbed, that one. Turnover. Rebound by the Rams. Number zero trying to find something. Back to one. Back to 15. Back to zero, looking for three. Not gonna get it in a rebound by the Vikings. Oh, almost turnover. Lost the ball. Out on the Rams. Vikings playing good basketball right now. Seems to continue that going into this rest of the game. Underneath, 214, trying to get the layup, not gonna go. Back to zero, back to two, then to 11. He's trying for a three. All the Vikings players are trying to get in this game. Number three has checked out though for the Vikings for a little breather and a good swat by number 11. Rams trying to find somebody. He's got to throw it somewhere. Back to one. Little jumper. Got it. Rams finally got points. They finally got points after the 10-0 run from the Vikings. But if you're really looking at it right now, Vikings are on a 10-2 run. Let's see if they can continue that here. Back to zero, then to four. He stepped back, looking for three. Absolutely. Ooh, so nice. 29-15. Back to zero. They're just looking for three. He's not going to get it. I think the Rams are trying to get too many points all at once. You don't have to get it all at once. If you get twos here and there, maybe you get a two, draw a foul, get an and one. Points add up. And the Vikings have turned it over, just like the Rams have, so it's not out of reach. Back to zero, Rams get it in. They just gotta get something. Just anything, even two, maybe three. Oh! Number one from downtown. Drains the three. 2 11. 14 to four to two. Oh, good fake. Back to four. Back to 14. Then to 11 for the three. He's high stepping his way to another three. And it's intercepted by number four. And gets the way up. Quick turnaround. That's five points in a matter of about five seconds. Another turnover from the Rams. Vikings are just gonna pound the, the rock here. A turnover, but not much of a costly one if you're up 34 to 18 in the second quarter. And a timeout has been called. 34 to 18, a commanding lead for the Vikings. We'll see if the Rams can try to answer. Still plenty of ball to play. Let's see what they can do coming after this. So why is the clock still running? <laughs> the clock is still running. The game clock. Yeah, they probably should put some seconds on. Because, you know, even a second is very crucial in the game of basketball. Every second matters. Every second. Every nanosecond, every half second. Well, not nanosecond, but so <laughs> basketball only goes as far down as uh, milliseconds. Every picosecond. Millisecond. Half second. It's so funny that at the game I was at, they took a halftime at four seconds left. I mean, they took a timeout. Oh, yeah. I was like, what are you going to do in four seconds? A lot. Well, because with basketball, 
if you have the ball and you call a timeout, you automatically get to move to the other end. And uh, if they're down like one score, then they ha then they have a chance to like get the ball in and drain like a three or two to tie or win the game. Yeah, but you know it's a pretty. Oh, that's that's just that's just oh. bad. <laughs> that's just bad. Number zero. Just that's just too easy. Vikings are just running away with this one. Rams once again trying to find some sort of momentum. Number one trying to get a three. Number 11 with the rebound. All right, there's two, there's two. Gets two points, kept this to a 16 point lead. Still a lot though for the Vikings. Trying to alley-oop it, turnover. Trying to get something and out on the Rams. Just a good play. Just throwing the ball at his feet so he can kick it out so it can be off of a Rams player. So it can be out on the Rams player. That's a four. Four looking for three. Not gonna get it. 14 with the rebound. He's just too tall, too big. Back to an 18. And to 11. You know, this game was close at one time. I, I liked when it was close. Zero. Oh! So wish. That might, that might get a spark going for the Rams. See if they can come back in this one. Like I said, it was a close game at one time. I, I did like it when it was close. Although, I, I did come to uh, Neshoba, so I, I do like when they win, but as a commentator, you always love a close score. Because <laughs> then, then people really get into it. But, like I said, 250 left in the second. 16 point lead, that can be cut easily. Vikings went on a 10 0 run. The Rams can do the same. The Rams just have to come together, try to get some takeaways. <laughs> try to get some takeaways, try to get some momentum. Taking the easy throws. And there's a big turnover right there from the Vikings. Just take the easy, just take the easy ones. You don't have to always go for three, although zero is going for three. But if you really want to get back to the game, you don't always have to go for threes. You can just get twos, they add up. Number four, wide open. Off the hands of 14. Zero with the rebound. Back to 11. Zero and 11 seem to be their top players. But number one's trying to show up here. Trying to show that he's also a star on this team. Seems like number 11 hasn't gotten a break yet. He's playing a lot of minutes. A lot of seconds. Does he get checked out here? He does not. Stays in the game. Number three has checked back in after his monstrous stretch of eight points in a matter of like two minutes. Oh, he's back at it again. Can he get somewhere? Nope, off of it. Gets his own rebound though. No, back to two. Looking for three. Not gonna get it. Rebound by the Rams. 2-1. Vikings coming off that double team. Oh, nope, they're back on it. Vikings played a lot of double teams. Zero with the three. And overshot it. Vikings were playing a lot of double team, but they've kind of calmed down here. Number four trying with it. That's a foul. Couple free throws coming for number four. Let's see what he can do. So even if I talk this quietly, it still picks it up. Nice. It's such a sensitive microphone. Oh yeah. Missed the first one. During halftime, you should listen how good it sounds. I, I, I might. Put yeah. Settings in, in it, um, I don't have to. Makes it. Vikings still with a commanding lead. Can the Rams recover? Oh, good defense. By number 32. A minute 15 left in the first half. Let's see what the Vikings can do. Let's see what the Rams can do to try to put some pressure on the Vikings. Back to one, then to zero. Zero's looking for a bunch of threes. He doesn't make many of them though. I say he's only like one for his last 12 number, and then that just makes it too easy for the Vikings to get a quick layup. 
like I said, take the twos. You don't always have to get it all back at once. Big rebound, number three to number one. That's too easy. In and out. Oh, turnover, number three. Oh, he tried to make a nasty move, could not get it. Oh, someone fell, number 15, looking for three. No one's under the rebound for the Vikings. Oh, what a throw. It's looking like a quarterback out there. Number three. He's back at it again with another two. 21 to 11 inside. Looking for a rebound and one. There we go, here's a three point play potentially. Rams have to get some sort of momentum. They are down by a lot. Like a lot. If you want the math on it, they're down by 21. He can cut this to a 20 point lead. He cuts it to a 20 point lead. Still manageable though with the amount of time that's left in the game, a full second half. Back to 12. He's just gonna lay it in, not gonna get it. Rebound by 32. And not gonna get it. Well, at, uh, at halftime, it is a 22 point lead for the Vikings, 47 to 25. Huge command, but still a whole second half left to play. And if I remember my days as playing football in my freshman year, we were always a second half team. So anything can happen. It is not over yet. But we'll see what happens and see if the Rams can get some momentum going into the second half. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joining Jonathan Dow in some awesome commentary of a Show Attack Vikings game. Uh, we're, going, we're coming back from halftime, the halftime intermission break. Oh yeah, Damon's going to be like the, the color commentator, the, the extra inside because he's a cameraman. Yeah. Although I'm going to try my best to hear him because he has the headset. <laughs> Yeah. But, I mean, he's right next to me, so it shouldn't be too bad. But coming out of halftime, Vikings up 47, 225, looking to just build on the lead that they have. And that, oh, that, is that three again? Oh, that's three again with another three. Vikings still back on the double Connor team. Connor just took the ball for a yeah. he, he knows some of these oh. names. Oh, layup by number zero. Yeah, I'm just number going one. by numbers. He knows on... Um, Trying to put it up. Wow, well, just caught another turnover by the Vikings. Oh, turnover by the Vikings. <laughs> Number one. Number one looking to just get a couple points. Oh, wow. Off Bounce the front. Off the rim. Now to zero. Zero intercepted. Wow, intercepted by Picked one. Picked off by wow. number one, but can they do anything with it? Because they've shown to not be able to do much with it. Number zero is just number zero. Well, that was a fight for the ball, ladies and gentlemen. Number zero is just looking for threes. That's all he's been looking for all night is just threes, and he hasn't gotten anywhere with it. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, he could just dump it inside, like, to number 11. Although he, he did miss that. Can they get the rebound? Hello. They couldn't. Vikings with the rebound to one. Oh, almost picked off again by number Connor one. Connor McCall going up for the lead. Connor going up. Oh, oh yeah. So nice. Uh, He's having himself a night. So, I got to tell Apparently you Apparently his name's Connor, so. Yes, Connor McCall. Connor McCall. Connor oh, McCall. Connor that McCall. is down by one. Connor McCall trying to add to his oh, night and draws right. the foul. Or you guys say you said you wanted to say something. So yeah, I did want to say something. So I was doing a little pregame talk to Connor McCall, and um, um, <laughs> and I was doing a little pregame talking to Connor McCall, um, and he said that um, that he thinks. Hold on, let me get to it in my text. That he thinks that. Well, he was saying to me last night that it should be a pretty boring one. Um, he says that the Vikings are going to get 40 to, and then the other team's going to get 30. So he's thinking this game is going to be a blowout. But anyways, we'll hear well, the he is right. It is a 30-point lead. Yeah. 31 after that from Connor. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. It, I mean, we were watching, we're watching the JV game before this, and it was also a blowout. It was, it was like 50 to 16. I guess big man, Mr. Ford, we were talking. I was talking to him during that game, and he said that, Vikings scored in the JV game, the Vikings scored 22 points before the Rams scored one point. So, 
so it doesn't so it doesn't seem like the Rams are that good of a team. Not a playoff contender. Vikings could be a playoff contender. Number zero loading up. Run. Not gonna go. Rebound by the Rams. Yeah, it seems like on all Viking on should pick Vikings is I feel like we have some pretty big players on our team. Ooh, not gonna go there. That we have an advantage over. Uh, King Connor Connor Paul going nine. up. Come on, Connor. Oh, Connor jumps inside. Oh, it's oh wow. Back to one. Back to one. Oh, oh yeah, it's good. Money. Money for days. Oh, good juke inside. Oh, but a turnover. They saved it. What a save by number 14. Gonna launch a team. Oh, he's wide open. That. Oh, he missed it. That was an easy one, but couldn't get it to connect. Number one. Dump it inside, and it is off Connor's hands after the tip. Rams retain possession. But yeah, Vikings, I believe they're, what, two and three right now in the varsity, so. I mean, it looks like they're gonna win. If they end up winning, they're gonna move to three and three. Connor trying to add to his amazing night. Could not connect. Rebound and one by number zero. It's a three point play coming. Yeah, get zoomed in. And also, by the way, uh, um, for everyone at home watching, I am filming and commentating. I have a little color to the mix. Yeah, adding a little bit of color. A little color? Yes, that is Damon Abbott's but I know. and I am Jonathan Dow as your play-by-play -play commentator. I've done some games during my senior year. I actually just recently graduated from here. So I did some commentary in my senior year this past year, and uh, it's, and now I'm uh, Damon got me back into it. Oh, yeah. And as the Vikings try to add to their lead, yeah, I know. They're not going to get it. Rebound. Connor. Triple team. Draws um, a foul. But yeah, Damon got me back into this. I'm back where it all started. And so far, so good. I mean, I think the Vikings are undefeated whenever I commentate. So it's uh, some good momentum there. Connor with a couple free throws coming. Man's got to have at least... 15 on the night, if I had to really guess on how many points he has. Yeah, I kind of look a layup. Yeah, um, yeah, I texted Jonathan because I know uh, my boss, Mark Corey, who's going to be oh, probably taking a look at this. He, um, he, he says it's watching a game on television is just not the same without without commentators. Commentary, yeah, so Damon Damon hits me up. He's like, hey, you wanna Oh! Connor draws another foul. This is the same play. Now he's going for some more free throws. Two, as a matter of fact. But yeah, Damon hit me up. He was like, hey, you wanna Well first he said, hey, how's it going? And then I knew I knew it led to something. There, led to no something. way that Damon just hits me out of the blue and it's like, how nah, you doing? I no. mean you might. Maybe. But the past few times he's done that, he's like, hey, you want to come and say the game? And <laughs> the, past, the past couple times I, I would have, but I had to work, I think, yeah. uh, two of those other times. So Yeah, I'm glad you can make it out. You know, it's fun having you along. It makes everything more fun yeah. it, instead of just yeah, instead of you just sitting here filming. Sitting here by myself. All by myself. All by myself. Yeah, I don't think the Rams are coming back. You think, you think they're coming back, Damon? I don't know. It's, it, it's going to be a hard one. It's like, you know, uh, I don't think they have a chance. It's almost, it's, it's, oh, Connor. Wow, Connor just, oh, Connor's Connor's just took that downtown and just lay up. And this is why this man's on varsity. He is that yeah. good. Connor McCall is a legend. Um, also, just to give a little shout out, um, Connor McCall and a few of his buddies does the Radio Ragnarok podcast. They have a podcast? Every, every Tuesday and Thursday after school. Really? Um, and it's on the Viking 360 channel. It's, it's a school club. It's a podcasting club. Connor McCall is pretty much the president of it. But yeah, he does that. And, That's um, a thing? Are they, in TV, are they in TV media? Yeah, Connor McCall is a, yeah, Connor McCall is a senior in TV media. Uh, so... He does that. He, I know. Uh, that, he, might, that might be a senior project. I'm not sure. 
but I know he enjoys doing the podcast. So if you're interested in checking out the Radio Ragnarok podcast, I highly recommend checking out. Check it out on the I've actually a few times I've popped on the podcast and I bought I bought my my key, I think I bought my guitar ones. I bought my bass ones. I bought my keyboard in the podcast. It was a, it was just a delight. It's been a good time. It's always yeah, a good back time. in January, I actually started my own podcast, and Very we kind of nice. took we also then took like a six month break. <laughs> yep. Because uh, one of my buddies had student with me. He's in taxes, so he's studying for his CPA. But so that really took up a lot of his time. But podcasts are very fun to do, and you know, one it's like a thing that comes into broadcasting as a miss from number one from the Rams. Uh, podcast, you know, come with broadcasting, and it's like in the same kind of realm. Yeah, it's the same category. You know, a lot of time podcasts they have a broadcasting element because. You're usually um, streaming or like recording and like doing the video at the same time too. Number zero, well, still looking for a three, not gonna get it. Rebound back to one, back to zero. Oh, I wonder what he's gonna do. Oh, he actually passes it this time. Yeah, when I'm filming these games, I'm always thinking to myself, especially when it's a game like this, when you know the Vikings. Oh, 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 oh. nice play by number eleven. You know, when the Vikings are, or when a team's crushing, I was like. Can you just call it over now? Yeah, mercy rule. There is no mercy rule in sports. You must. You because must I want to go home. I don't want to be here for another 30 minutes. You must continue to pound the game. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a lot of angry people after I said that. <laughs> All the Rams fans. <laughs> They're going to be ramming into my comment section. <laughs> rammed. I am bent over slapping my knee after that amazing <laughs> joke. Yeah, we bring all the comedic humor into uh, this get this lovely game that we had got going on. Damon is probably like the king of dad jokes. Oh yeah. We try. But yeah, we try. so back to the, back to the podcast thing. If you want to check out a great podcast, check out what's it called again, Damon? The Radio Ragnarok. The Radio Ragnarok on what Tuesdays and Thursdays? Tuesdays and Thursdays. They're not. They're not usually out, but they do. They record them up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Oh, what they usually nice get them story. out the next week or whatever. Nice shot by number eleven. Or number one, actually. Back to ten. Back to twenty-three. Looking for three. Not gonna get it. Rebound by twenty-four. Yeah, Vikings, Vikings looking like they're going to be sitting a lot of their starters because this game is just way out of hand. Yeah, I know Connor McCall back to the podcast. About the podcast. We'll just give in a lot of publicity to that podcast. Yeah. You know, I know Connor McCall really enjoys doing the podcast. and yeah. He also, you know. Yeah, it must be a good time. I, um, he does put on a good show. Like, we're going to be quiet. Wow, he missed it. Oh, something fell. Something fell. I don't think I have enough reach. I don't got the reach. I don't got the reach. <laughs> oh, almost a turnover by the Vikings. Oh, and there's indeed a turnover. To zero. What's he going to do? He's looking for three, as always. Doesn't get it again. Taking way too many threes, I feel like. Again, Jonathan, let's just call it game. <laughs> Back to 13. It's a two because his foot was on the line. But it didn't go away anyways. Back to one. <laughs> Looking for something. 2-0. Damon almost falls on the I floor. Fell over. All this excitement. He almost <laughs> fell to, to his uh, He almost fell on his face. He's uh, very, really shaken up from this excitement. <laughs> Number one. Wait, let's see if I can sit down properly now. Yeah. Oh, I really, I really scared myself though. <laughs> Thought I was gonna fall off the cliff. Like <laughs> games for three. Doesn't connect. Back to 10, 224. That, that was basically just a pass and a layup. As we get to the, the last minute of the third quarter, the score is 69 to 33. Vikings have a commanding oh, yeah. lead. It's a good shot. 
Yeah, so that, that number all that Vikings has is just a really great number, you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure, sure, Damon. Sure. <laughs> oh, and a travel call. <laughs> if Mark heals this, he's gonna cancel me. I mean, you said it, not me. I did say it. I'm proud of it. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> what? I am not. <laughs> is, it not is it not my proudest moment? I don't, I don't think it's my proudest moment. Nah, I think you've had prouder. <laughs> I'm gonna need to one. Good pass. To 21. Still just nothing for the Rams. Looking for a three, four, ten. Not gonna get it. Rebound by 23. Back to two. See what he does with it. Takes the dribble screen, trying to be set up. Back to 13. Back to 23. Two with a move. Step back. Oh, it is blocked. That is the end of the third quarter. Yes, indeed. That is the end of the third quarter. The Vikings are up 69 to 37. And a commanding lead, I don't expect them to lose. I'm not going to say anything. I I'm not allowed. They are <laughs> yeah, you are not allowed. Take off the mic. Take off the mic. I'll, I'll but we'll see We'll see if the Rams can uh, just get something to make them uh, happy about yeah. this game. Yeah, maybe the, you know, maybe the Rams can do something to spice it up. I don't know, maybe come up with a plan, do something. It is kind of cool that they have a 40 minute, 40 second timer, minute timer between halves, which is yeah. nice. Yeah, it's good to know. Get prepared. Get prepared. Get prepared. prepared. Get Be little, prepared. You know, you get a little timer and uh, you get a little timer and you gotta get prepared for the fourth quarter. So oh. anything can happen in the fourth quarter. Although this is probably an over game right now. Are you from no no North Folk? North Folk. North Folk. A uh, Norfolk? North folk. Yeah. I mean, I live up north. What do you mean by North folk? <laughs> Isn't that North 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 folk? Norfolk? That's Norfolk, like Norfolk. No. Yeah. I think it's up North folk. I don't know the, what I'm trying the, to the say. The team that the Vikings are facing? Yeah. I, I see Norfolk. Mm -hmm. I don't see any TH in there. I don't know where you get the TH. I think I just got it from my brain. Yeah, I think you got it from your brain. I, I have heard nothing about Norfolk, by the way. I, I don't know. Oh, that, whoa. that was an interesting shot. No foul. I think at this point this is over, so they just like. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little nap Justice while we're doing this. Justice prevailed. <laughs> Justice prevailed. Justice prevailed. Justice prevailed. Two mounts here. Screen trying to be set up. Back to two. Another screen trying to be set up. There's yeah, no just far. Basically, triple teamed over here. Oh, good pass underneath. Trying to get it. Not gonna go. Rebound by the Vikings. They lay it up. Not gonna go. Yeah, just to let everyone know who's watching at home, we did not get rosters from either of the teams. I know a few people on the Minnesota Tech team. Oh, what a nice shot at number yeah. zero. He finally gets another three after probably 20 shots. Still a good confidence boost for him, though. Yeah, maybe the Rams could, you know, get a few more points on the board so it's not a complete blowout. Oh, he actually goes inside. But I think it's looking like we are going to get a complete blowout. Oh, what a move. Nice move. Very curious if the Vikings, the Super Tech Vikings, are going to get up that points up to 100 points. Wouldn't that be insane? Yeah. I mean, it's not out of the pitch hole. Yeah, anything can happen in six minutes and 20 Like that, <laughs> like that. It's a nice three. Yeah, just a nice three. Gotta yeah, get the threes, you know? I'm trying to get some momentum back. Although with six minutes left, I don't see much going on. Underneath, throw it in. I can't get it. Back to 10. Trying to find somewhere to go. Oh. Kind of ducks under the ball and throws it over his head, but able to get it back. 
screen trying to be set up. Back to 10. Oh, oh, what a move. Oh, that would have been so sick if that went in. Vikings ball. But uh, Damon, I do have to ask you something. So yeah. with, with the way this game's going, Vikings are two and three, probably gonna be three and three. Do you see this team as being a playoff contender? The show attack? Yeah. I mean, I don't um, know how many losses are uh, like the max you can get to have a chance in the playoffs. But I, I think if you only have three losses, you're not. It's doing the potential. That. I mean, anything this is possible. You know. I mean, they're a really good team. You know, they have some really good players like Connor McCall. You know, they have some big players like. Um, Sean Driscoll's on there, and Jack Irons, and you, ha you know, you have you have some really good players. You have like Connor Boyle, you know, they're pretty big people. And so you know, you have some, some good pieces coming together. I mean, especially yeah. if you have Connor McCall, he has been absolutely yeah, you know, nuts. He, he's just he just has so fast mo momentum. You know, he gets up and down the court really quickly, and just Whoa. able to get the get the ball in. You know, and just kind of get make those points. You know. Because I, I think mean, we have some strong people like Connor McCall, yeah. like Sean I mean, that, I mean Connor's been out of the game for about probably this whole quarter, and that's yeah. why that's because they're dominating. They're up by 30, so you yeah, want to really it. rest your starters, give them sure. some breathers, and uh, make I them help agree, them to yeah. get ready for the next game. Yeah, you know, I feel like um, Connor Boyle, number 24, uh, you know, he's been in for a while, so I feel like they could swap him out. Yeah, he, he was good. I think I remember him uh, when I commented last year. He was a good player. For yeah. You know, we do. Again, we I think, you know, we have a lot of, you know. You have a lot of pieces. You have a lot of big pieces. Yeah. That if, I think if they come together as a team, they can find a way to win. Yeah. Potentially make, their, make a run in the playoffs. I mean, if we're looking, man, if we're looking at the championships, it looks like. Boys basketball, varsity. Number FM zero going up. No, oh, not not good. No good. Oh, number two. I mean, we just have a lot of fast people. I mean, two, oh, yeah. which is so fast. Oh, that's a foul. But oh yeah, wow. It looks like they have a one since 2017, right? Am I looking at that right? I don't think that was any good. Damon, what's up? I don't think they've won since 2017, right? Is it the the boys basketball colonial? I think athlete? so. Like if you look to the right. Oh, I gotta bring this up. That was awful. Like if you look to the right up there, you see what I'm looking at with all oh, the banners. I think I see what you're talking about. Yeah, that, the basketball one, 2017. Mm -hmm. Looks like 2017 is the last time that they won a championship, which is actually not too long ago. I mean, it's I mean, it's crazy now. It's 2024. So that's yeah. seven years ago. But I mean, if you're really looking at it. It's not too long ago, and you know they have the pieces to try to make a try to make a run. Connell Cole. Connell, Connell Boyle. Oh, almost a turnover. Number two. They're able to get it back. Two, the other Connor. Connell trying to put it back up. Oh, just intercepted, I think. Number zero looking for a three. Not going to get it. Once again, he misses from downtown. Two Vikings are trying to pour on the lead, and that's a foul drawn. Yeah, I hear some of the cheerleaders, you know, they don't have that much work to do today. Yeah. <laughs> do you feel like the cheerleaders have, cheerleader team has been quiet today? It's because the fans are rocking, they're rolling. Mm hmm. Taking a picture of the scoreboard. I thought I thought you had this game before. No, I was just taking a picture and sending it to someone. Oh uh, yeah, to say that this game's a blowout. Blowout. They are up by 33 and just continue to pour it on. Like, watch, they're probably gonna score here. And just even to... even though this game is a blowout, I still feel like there's just it's just a really oh a long three. Oh! The big man. Wow, yeah, the three! Everything going right for the Vikings. You know, this is just such a fast-paced game, Jonathan. They're just going right and left, right and left, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, they just keep... Oh, a two-timer. Not going to get it. I feel you like we just keep having time. a... You know, you know what I mean? You have, like, keeping... Having a lot of turnovers. 
you know, again, Jonathan, this game, what do you think, buddy? You think this game's going to be a complete blowout? Uh, blowout city. Two, two and a half minutes left in the entire game? Like, this is just going to be a commanding area. I mean, maybe, maybe high school playoffs look at, like, kind of like with college, how however many points you score versus how many points you let up determines on seeding. So if that's the case, and the Vikings are doing a really great job on uh, pouring on the points and not letting up a lot of points. Yeah, number two and number 11 and, and Colin McCall, of course, are just really flash players. You know, they move the ball a lot in the game. As one of the other commentators that I um, work with, they say they have a lot of ball movement, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's not the saying, you know, Colin? I mean, what they say. You know, Jonathan? Yeah. Can't argue with the fact. No. You know, the fans are definitely going wild, you know, you know, it's a really, I mean, it's a good game, I guess. Well, it's not good, but yeah, it's good for the Vikings anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this team, this sure. team just had a lot of, it was close in the beginning, which was great, but then I think they had a lot of miscommunications. Oh, number zero with another three, but I think it's because number zero just kept taking a lot of threes and just wasn't really passing too much, so they couldn't really get anywhere, but the Vikings were, have just been all over them this entire game. And it really shows here with the score being 80 to 46. But, I mean, I feel, yeah, the Rams just had a lot of miscommunications, a lot of turnovers, a lot of just mistakes that they had this game. You know, and it's definitely a, lot a, miss, a lot of A lot of missed Oh, opportunity. wow, interception by Jack Ion. Oh, Connor Boyle's already right doing bring it up. Oh man, he couldn't get up. More three throws. Connor Boyle's doing some three throws here. Good, take a commit. Quiet. Quiet. Quiet, please. The offense is at work. Oh wow, is there a timeout called in the play? Yeah, it must be a timeout called. A minute seven left. Wow. Is... I mean, how much can you do in a minute seven when it's this type of game, you know, Jonathan? Well, you just kind of, I mean, from my experience, what you got to do is just make the best of just it. Just make the best, yeah, make the best of it. And on a good note, I mean, you're, you're ultimately you're going to come away with a loss and it's a, it's a devastating loss, it's a blowout. But if the teams just want to come away with just, they just want to come away with something positive so that they can bring to their team and bring back home and so that they can watch film and see, okay, here's what we did good in and here's what we did bad in and what we need to work on. Mm -hmm. And really just ending a game in a positive note really brings their momentum up as they head back home. Because if you if you end a game very poorly and just not on a great note, that ride home, it's going to be long. Yeah. It's going to be aggravating, which it's going to be long either way. And it's going to be frustrating. But if you end on a good note, if you end on something good, then you can really just feel that going into... Yeah. You can just feel that going into... You, uh, back home. All right. You know, some more free throws coming your way. Um, you know. What's up? Here's some more free, 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 throw. free throws. Free throws. Free throws. Can't free throws coming our way. Free throws. I am so good at talking. You know, with a minute seven left, game basically almost over. Damon, thank you for uh, for uh, messaging me about this game. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. You know, um, I'm always happy to commentate some games. Yeah. I mean, especially from the school that I went to. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool that you were able to stop in and kind of make another appearance. You know. Yeah. I, I made, like I made another around. rare appearance. Oh, I was that's just wow. Fast tone. Wow. So look at that. Ended on a pretty good note. 50 Got seconds point. left, can they at least cut it to a 30 point lead? Wow. This game definitely went by fast. You know, the other game I went was at, at, was at Littleton. You know, they had so many timeouts and stoppage of the game. And was it a close game? It was so close, the that ar audience was wild. Did they win? They won by four points. That yeah, was a pretty good close. game. Unfortunately, we did not have common pay tolls for that game. 
But yeah, this game, this game started at what, 6 and it's 7.09, so it was only about an hour and 10 minutes. Oh, oh they just to, can't get them in. They just can't get the threes. That's what I'm saying. Like, they're taking too many threes. I mean, at the end of the game, you can't really do too much. And hey, for the Vikings, at least they longed what they what looks. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> how to win the game points, and how to do a blowout. I feel like 82 points in a high school game is a lot. Definitely. That sure. is a lot. That's like close to what the pros score on average. Yeah. But all in all, right, that's Vikings game. end up winning it. That is the end of the game. Vikings win 82 to 48 over the Rams. Once again, I am Jonathan Dow. And I'm commentator. Damon Abbott. And you're Damon Abbott. Surprise commentator. We're both surprises. Yeah, I mean. I mean you never knew you were going to be on here until you clicked and watched this video. Oh, yeah. You don't know who's going to be on here. You don't know that I'm. I could get missed. On, I could still get missed on Massa. Oh, I have that. That would be. Yeah. Like if you get a game like me commentating, Mr. And Mr. Massa, Massa commentating, oh, that's gonna be dangerous. Oh, that would be so hard. <laughs> well, actually, hold on a second. Hold on. All right, thank you very much for watching this game, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I hope you enjoyed. You know, we'll be back here sooner than later. Thank you very much.